welcome back. In the last lecture, we have uh, derived the Fourier inversion theorem for a Schwarz class function. Uh, just to recall, Fourier inversion if f is in Schwarz space, then we have proved f of x, this is equal to minus infinity to infinity f hat xi e to the power 2 pi i xi x d xi. This is what we had proved and now we we are asking the another important theorem that is the Planserl theorem, what will be the statement of this. So, again you recall we have defined f in Schwarz space, we denoted that the norm of f is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of f of x square dx whole to the power. 1 over 2. So, then the Planserl theorem if f is in Schwarz space, then we know that f hat is also in the Schwarz space and then we get norm of f square uh, which is nothing but or rather we can just put it minus infinity to infinity ok so So, now uh, we have here the mod of f of x square and on the right hand side we have mod of f hat of xi square. Now, the trick is that how do I convert this into f into some Fourier transform of some function g hat can we find a g such that g hat equal to mod of f hat of j square. Then if that is the case, this will imply that that by Fourier inversion theorem, if g is in Schwarz space, if we can manage to find such a g, then this will be g of 0. So, uh, def let for f in Schwarz space define f tilde of x, this is equal to f of minus of x bar. Now, let us compute f tilde clearly if f is in the Schwarz space, then f tilde is also in the Schwarz space. So, we talk of f tilde hat at xi, this is and by putting the definition Uh, and this is equal to if I uh, make a change of variable, then this is x going to minus of x, then this is minus infinity to infinity f of x bar e to the power 2 pi i j x dx. If I take the bar outside the integral, then this is minus 2 pi i j x dx whole bar 
and this quantity is nothing but f hat of j whole bar. So, this f tilde hat is equal to f hat conjugate. Now, let us uh, take we know that then f convolution of f tilde because both of them are in source space. So, this is in the source space if I take this hat of j then we know that this is f hat of j and then this is f tilde hat of j. So, this is equal to f hat of j and f hat of j bar which is nothing but mod of f hat of j square. So, successfully we have got uh, uh, a function g in the source space namely f convolution of f tilde whose Fourier transform is f hat of j mod square. Therefore, what we get is that minus infinity to infinity mod of f hat of j square d j this is equal to minus infinity to infinity f convolution of f tilde hat at j d j because this is uh, f convolution of f tilde is in the source space. So, what we get by the Fourier inversion we get that this is f convolution of f tilde at 0 by inversion and this by definition is going to be minus infinity to infinity f of x then f tilde of minus of x dx this is the definition of convolution which is equal to minus infinity to infinity f of x f tilde of is f of minus of x here it is minus x. So, this is f x bar dx and which is nothing but our required quantity that is mod of f of x square and this proves the Planserol formula. Okay, so, now we have the inversion, we have the Planserol. So, our analogy with the series as well as with the finite group. So, we have proved two fundamental result of Fourier analysis uh, restricting uh, ourself to the source space. So, now it is a natural uh, question is that how I am going to uh, relate uh, this Fourier transform uh, uh, with the Fourier series and also like uh, sub one can think this uh, as a practical problem. Uh, in many of the engineering in the we get the frequency um, of certain functions uh, only at the discrete point. So, we have discrete data. So, now with this discrete data how we are going to reconstruct our function the original function which is defined on uh, r. So, can that be possible? So, let us try to concretize this vague statement and uh, let us uh, let f in source space. It has very good decay. So, therefore, if we define f sharp of x this is equal to summation over n varies over z f of x plus n. Then this infinite sum this exists because uh, you can always say that mod of f of x plus n this is lesser equal to some constant by 1 plus mod x plus n square. So, because uh, it uh, is in source space. Uh, therefore, this uh, exist and not only that uh, this f sharp is one periodic that is f sharp 
of x plus 1, this is equal to summation over n varies over z f of x plus 1 plus n, which is again by a substitution, we will get that this is f of x plus n, which is equal to f sharp at x. So, this shows that this is a one periodic function and uh, now if we look at 0 to 1 f sharp of x dx, this is uh, I can put uh, the mod here, then this is lesser equal to summation over n 0 to 1 mod of f of x plus n dx by making a change of variable, this is n varies over z, this is n to n plus 1 mod of f of x dx. So, now this is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of f of x dx. So, if f is positive, then we get the uh, equality and which is finite, f is in the sort space. So, now f sharp is as a periodic function is also uh, integrable. Therefore, we can talk about the Fourier coefficient of uh, f sharp, because when I am looking at it in uh, uh, 0, 1. So, this is going to sit in the integer. So, now f sharp hat at n, we can define to be 0 to 1 f sharp of x e to the power minus 2 pi i x n dx as the Fourier coefficient of a one periodic function. Now, this is equal to integral 0 to 1, this is summation over m varies over z, we will write f of x plus m e to the power minus 2 pi i x n dx. Now, again change uh, this is all this in the Schwarz space. So, I can justify changing uh, the sum as well as the integral. So, if I take this out, then now I make a change of variable. So, if I do x plus m to x, then this is going to m to m plus 1 and then e to the power minus 2 pi i x is x minus of m and n dx. Now, this is equal to summation m varies over z integral m to m plus 1 f of x then e to the power minus 2 pi i n x because uh, e to the power 2 pi i m n that is going to be equal to 1. So, this is nothing but f because this sum m to m plus 1 will be the integral over minus infinity to infinity. So, minus infinity to infinity f of x e to the power minus 2 pi i n x dx which is nothing but f at of n. So, here this uh, periodization of f what we are taking. So, that we can think of it as a one periodic function can do the Fourier series there and there the Fourier, coef it Fourier coefficient is nothing but the Fourier coefficient of f at in all those integer. So, now it is f sharp is a nice function. So, what we can define by the inversion formula for Fourier series that 
tells us that this f sharp of x this is equal to summation n varies over z minus infinity to infinity f sharp hat at n e to the power 2 pi i x n and this is nothing but so this will imply f sharp is what summation over x uh, n varies over z f of x plus n which is equal to n varies over z f sharp hat at n is f hat of n e to the power 2 pi i x n. So, this is called the Poisson summation formula. which is extremely, extremely useful not only in the mathematics in the field of uh, number theory as well as in signal processing and various other science. Okay, so, uh, now in particular if x is equal to 0, if x is equal to 0, then this formula will look at f of n is equal to summation over n varies over z f hat of n. This is uh, when x is equal to 0, so f hat of n sum over to f of n. So, let us see some uh, application of uh, this Poisson summation formula what we have derived. Okay. So, now for example, let a greater than 0 then we would it says that n is equal to minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus a square n square. This is equal to square root of pi by a summation n from minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus pi square n square by uh, a square. Okay. So, now let f of x is equal to e to the power minus a square x square. Now, this what we can see is that f uh, from this we know that summation over f n n this is equal to summation over n varies over z f hat of n portion summation formula. Now, this is equal to the left hand side summation over n f of n is nothing but the left hand side quantity. So, now what essentially we need to find is that the f hat of n. f hat of n. So, now let us look at let g of x is equal to e to the power minus pi minus pi x square. We know that g hat of xi we have computed this, this is equal to minus pi xi square. Now, f of x I can write this as e to the power minus pi then 
a square x square by pi this is what so now this is equal to g of a x by root pi now this is the dilation of the gaussian so now when we are writing g hat of n then this is going to be 1 over a by square root of pi uh, and then e to the power minus pi uh, j square means n square is uh, n square divided by a square by pi. So, this is equal to square root of pi because we know that if f of delta is defined to be uh, f of delta x then f delta hat at xi this is equal to 1 by delta f hat of xi by delta. Now, if this is e to the power minus pi square n square by a square and that is what we wanted to prove. Okay. And uh, similarly, now what we can another number theory uh, application is that uh, uh, to find the value of n from minus infinity to infinity 1 by n square plus a square. Okay, so, now obviously this is if we define f of x is equal to 1 by uh, a square plus x square, it is no more a Schwarz class function, but it has a good moderate decay. So, we can actually ensure that look at the portion summation formula what we are uh, using over here. So, we are using that the sum is uh, well defined, this sum is well defined and it is in obviously one periodic function and this is a, a integrable then we are computing um, the Fourier coefficient. So, obviously even if we do not have uh, uh, the source space we have a decay like this then we are going to run through the proof as it is. So, this what uh, um, we can have the portion summation formula. Now, it is well known. Uh, so, you grant me that if f is this then f hat of n or we can do it for j 2 but uh, yeah what we need is f hat of n then the f hat of n is equal to can be computed pi by a e to the power minus 2 pi a mod of n. So, this uh, this can be easily computed by residue calculus, but it, it is given. or you can assume this to be true. Now, once you can compute this f hat of n, then by the portion summation formula what you get is n equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 by n square plus a square that is f of n which definitely is going to be n minus infinity to infinity f hat of n this is the portion summation formula and which by definition is pi by a summation over n from minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus 2 pi a mod of n. So, now this uh, certainly uh, if we write this first you if we take out the 0 part then we have got pi of a 
this is 1 plus summation n from 1 to infinity 1 to infinity in the positive side it will be minus 2 pi a n and in the negative side minus infinity to minus 1 e to the power 2 pi a n. Now you change n going to minus of n then you will get n equal to 1 to infinity e to the power 2 pi, I, uh, 2 pi a n. So this would be twi twice of this. So then that is uh, easy. Now this is equal to pi of a into 1 plus this is a geometric series if I am taking minus 2 pi uh, a if I take it out then this 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi a. So this is pi by a 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi a and uh, then plus 2 2 times e to the power minus 2 pi a this is 1 plus e to the power minus 2 pi a. This is a well known formula so what we know is that this is pi by a cot hyperbolic pi by a. So if you are we know the formula n from 1 to infinity 1 over n square is pi square by 6 now this is what is going to happen that uh, if uh, I shift it by n square plus a square I am going to get that this is pi a uh, uh, times cot hyperbolic pi by a. Okay, so, we will see some more uh, uh, application of the Poisson summation formula in the next lecture. Thank you.